Hey y'all, make sure you like the video. The algorithm really likes it and it really helps me out a lot. Thanks. All right, tackle, GoPro stuff, my jaws, refreshments. All right, what do I do with the bait? Oh yeah, I'm wearing the bait. There, all the bait we need. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to catch bluegills, crappie, and pretty much whatever's swimming in here with an old t-shirt. I'm at Piney Run. I'm expecting the bluegills to be spawning, actually. Well, uh, let's get started. I'm gonna show you how you can catch fish with no bait, no lures, just an old t-shirt. All right, let's go. All right, first thing you're gonna need is a tiny little 30 second ounce shad dart. You can get these at Walmart, you can get these anywhere. Tiny little jcat. We're gonna be uh, using a float as well. All right, but here's the, here's the juice of the situation, right here. These are little tiny slivers. All right, I see some big bluegills swimming around right now. Take an old t-shirt and um, see this little piece right here on the t-shirt, right where that seam is? Here's how I do it. I'll just take an old t-shirt. I can still use the t-shirt when I'm done, but I'll cut a little section right underneath that seam and open it up because it's, you know, it's folded over. Red works the best, by the way. And you take these little slivers of the t-shirt about an inch, inch and a quarter long, just like that. And you soak it in some kind of uh, scent. I like to use anise, just cause it's not as funky as uh, using like a shad scent or a crawfish scent. Anise smells like licorice. So when you get it all over your fingers, it ain't, it ain't too nasty. And the fish like it. You'll catch bluegills, crappy. You'll catch bass. Well, anyway. You take this little tiny piece of t-shirt and you put it right on the end of your shad dart. Just like that. Not too bad, huh? And you only need a couple strips of this and it'll last you all day. Then you start fishing. See how fast I got that bite? Yeah, they really love this stuff. They go crazy over this anise scent. There's one. Pumpkin seed. Ah, it's a gorgeous fish. Check that out. Shad dart with a little bit of scented t-shirt. Wow. 
Wow, look at that guy. That's probably the most beautiful fish you can catch out of here. All right, let's let him go. Just one. That's a beaver. There's a beaver over there. He's mad that I'm close to this. Yeah, he just popped up right here. I was about to throw something at him. Yeah, I only had a few hours today, so I didn't feel like loading up my kayak. So I'm just fishing for some bluegills just to get outside. You guys having luck? No, we just uh, finally got to the bait house to get some minnows. That place was a madhouse earlier. We've been here since 4 o'clock. We were bass fishing. We didn't get a single bite. Yeah, it can get tough in here sometimes. Yeah, there's like a 40 pound beaver in there. He's a big guy. He's huge. The beaver in here looks like a golden retriever. He's so big. <laughs> Yeah, he's a big boy. He comes up on me. I'm going to see how far I can punt him. I've had him get right next to my kayak before and slap their tail at me. Oh, give you a heart attack. You don't see it coming. There's one. Well, they got this time. Crappy. There you go, y'all. Wanna shed dart? No. Old piece of t shirt. another one back to back cast just a little guy but I'm not looking for any keepers today anyway there you go on the t-shirt Three casts in a row. Want a shad dart and a little piece of scented t-shirt. That's all you need.
Oh, get out of there. There's another one, yo. Let me freshen up my my t-shirt. Yeah, if you ever just want to come out and catch some fish and can't get to the bait shop or just don't feel like going to the bait shop that's all you need folks a little sliver of cut t-shirt soak it in some anise and go to the lake and have some fun they say you want to take your kids out and they don't they're not too fond of cutting up worms or waxies or mealworms here you go just like this All right, y'all. I only had a couple hours to fish, but I caught a bunch. Who'd have thought you could catch fish on a t-shirt? Well, I hope you guys learned a new technique today. If you don't feel like messing with night crawlers, wax worms, don't feel like going to the bait shop, or you're fishing with some newbies that don't want to mess with the worms or the waxies or the mealworms or whatever, just cut up an old red shirt, soak it in some anise oil, You'll catch them all day long, I promise. Well, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thank you so much for watching Hookset TV.